We've spoken a lot recently about the Reformation and the impact that that had on a culture. How do you think school leaders can be challenging in their approach to uh, educational culture? Well, some people would, uh, you know, like us to live um, a life under threat, as it were. You know that um, uh, our vision for education about being deeply Christian and serving the common good. Um, uh, the whole point of that vision is that we should not be on the defensive, but that we should be on the front foot saying that uh, what we have is a vision that we would like not just to be shared by church schools and institutions, but um, a, a vision that we would like to be contagious across the whole education system. <clears throat> and um, you know, we want to challenge people to, you know, with our four pillars, you know, with our commitment to wisdom, to, to community. I mean, lots of um, our society and indeed a lot of young people, the notion of community is an alien notion. If, if the only notion is about self-authentication, um, the idea of having less for yourself in order to build community with others, that others might have more, um, that needs to be vigorously promoted. And um, that in a, in a world, in a society where um, hope is at a premium, if you're poor or we're worried about the consequences of Brexit and so on, um, we, we need to be agents of hope in each community as well as in our national um, scope. And um, we've just today, today um, issued the latest um, edition of Valuing All God's Children. I'm very proud of, of us um, taking a lead in seeking to assure, ensure the dignity and inclusion of all young people in our schools, regardless of their gender or sexuality, disability, whatever it may be, that might set them out to be bullied, um, we put the dignity of, of the children um, uh, first. So I think that we need to be, um, so this is where the boldness comes and offering a challenge it says, and also that we, perhaps underlying it all, is that we are a, um, a family of schools which um, celebrates in, in good worship what it is to, um, to be deeply Christian, to um, live within the love of God, and uh, for children to explore their spiritual as well as their social and cognitive and emotional intelligence uh, in an environment that says that um, we don't have to narrow everything down or reduce everything down, that the universe is is ever greater and uh, and is and, and has emerged as the creation of a of a good and loving god